This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, hope it's audible to everyone. <coughs> yeah, so please mute your speakers. Right. <coughs> Okay, so in the last week uh, we have discussed about what uh, basic statements in a map. Uh, we discussed about data statement, parameter statement, how to generate the selection screen, how to read the user input. Okay, so we have discussed all those things. Okay, so in continuation to this, uh, today we will see some more basic examples like how to work with uh, looping statements. Okay, how to work with a looping statement. So every programming language uh, contains what uh, looping statements. Okay, so in ABAP also we have different types of what uh, looping statements. Okay, suppose if you take our C language or C++ Java, we have while loop, do loop, all those things. So here also we have similar kind of thing. We have while, end while. Okay, we have do and do. Okay, do and do. Then we have what loop and end loop statement. Okay, these are the different looping statements. Okay, so let's see an example here. So my requirement is, see, whenever I execute my ABAP program, so this is my ABAP program. Right, so whenever I execute this, I should get a selection screen so on executing my program, I should get a selection screen where I need to read the user input. Okay, so here we need to read the user input. So assume that I need to read a number from the user. Okay, assume I'll enter a number like what six. Okay, so when I, whenever I enter any number on executing the selection screen, I want the result to be displayed like this. Suppose since I entered the number as 6, I want the product of that. Okay, so it's very simple, but just we're trying to understand how to use a looping statement. So when I'm displaying this product table, I want some small change. Okay, suppose here, let me just uh, print it. So here, 6 into 4. Okay, so I want some validation that I need to skip the what fifth iteration I need to skip the fifth iteration okay so like this it should continue till what uh, up to what 10 something like this okay so this is the overall requirement so I'll just repeat this once again on executing our ABAP program okay I should get a selection screen Okay, on the selection screen, the user needs to input some value. Assume that I'll in enter the value as something 6. On executing the selection screen, okay, I should display the product. Okay, I should display the product table. Uh, this output screen already we know. We call it as what? List processing screen. So, you can assume like this is the output screen. Selection screen is nothing but what? Where the user is going to input the value so this is our input screen so when I'm displaying this product table what is the validation I need to do here I need to skip what a fifth iteration okay I should not display the fifth iteration so I should get from six ones are to six fours are then I should skip the fifth iteration and continue from six to what ten something like this so this is the overall requirement so how do we achieve these kind of things we can do it by using what looping statement so most of you already know all these things but again let us see out what is the syntax that you have to follow in our ABAP environment so this is the overall requirement done okay so I'll just connect to the server So I'll go to what ABAP editor. Where do we develop these ABAP objects? 
in a C38. So I'll go to a BAP editor, that is a C38. I'll give the object name. Uh, what is our object name? Z645. What program 6 I'll give. Let me try to create. It is saying that 6 is already there. So I'll go for 7. 7 is also there. 8. Done. Okay. So I just gave some object name. Right. I'll click on the create button. Provide some title. Some title I'll provide. Some meaningful title. Done. Then what we need to do, we need to choose a type of object. What is the type of object in our case? Executable program. Okay. Remaining things we'll be discussing as and when required. So as of now, I'll choose what? Executable program. So type of program is executable program. Let me click on save button. Done. Package. Okay. In which package you want to store? Since we don't have any package at this stage, let us save our object inside the local object. Local object is nothing but what? It's a temporary package provided by SAP. Package is like a directory, like a folder, okay, where we can store all your objects. So let me click on local object. Then, so since I've chosen the type of program as executable program, I'll get it as what? Uh, report. The program will start with what? Report keyword. Already we have discussed in the last week. Any program starting with report keyword, you have to understand that as what executable program done. Okay, let me remove all these comments. Fine. So what is the requirement here? When, whenever I execute the program, I need to get a selection screen where I need to input the values. Okay, so whenever I input the value based on our execution, I should get the result something like this. So last week we have seen how do we read the input in ABAP by using what parameters? Okay, so those are newcomers. In case of C language, we use scanf for reading the user input. In C++, we use cin. Similarly, in ABAP, we use a keyword called as what parameters, which can be used for reading the user input. So I want to read an integer from the user. So I'll say, let me say parameters. Okay. And already we discussed parameter variable name. Generally, you'll start with what? P underscore. You can start with any name. Let me start with P underscore. So I'll give P underscore. Some name I'll give. I'll give it as something X. Okay. P underscore X. Type I. Done. Okay. I indicates what here? Int here. So when I execute my program, let me save it first. Control S. Check for the syntax errors. Control F2. No errors. Let me activate the object. It is inactive as of now. Let me activate Control F3. Done. Continue. Yeah, I'll execute. I'll say F8. How do we execute? F8. Direct processing. So when I execute this, I got the selection screen where I can input the values. Okay. So what is that uh, label I need to display? Enter a number. So we need to provide some meaningful information to the user. So how do we generate the text for this variable already we have seen last week in the program itself in the object itself choose the menu after activating the program choose the menu go to text elements selection text. Okay, choose the menu go to text element selection text. Okay, here selection text. What is the variable name p underscore x? Let me give the text as some meaningful text. Okay. I'll give it as something enter a number some text okay activate your selection text save it first activate this done continue go back to your program F3 button let me activate once again so I got the what a meaningful text here done so what is the requirement now user needs to provide some input value okay so after entering the input value here when I click on the execute button I need to display the product of this particular number and how do you make this field as mandatory field means without entering anything if the user tries to click on what execute button it should not allow me to execute so I need to make this field as what obligatory field mandatory field compulsory field how do we do it in the last week we have seen we have to use a keyword called as what obligatory okay so I'm using the keyword obligatory done let me save it, check for the syntax, done. Right, so this, if I don't enter anything, if I click on execute button, I'm getting an error here, fill in all the required entry fields. So this field is marked as what? 
obligatory field mandatory field compulsory the user has to enter a value here so let me enter here when i click on execute i should display the product of this particular number so how do you proceed now for reading the input from the user i use a keyword called as parameter in which variable we are storing the input value in the variable called as p underscore x now what is the requirement here on executing this selection screen i should get the result like this okay so we should decide what are, how many variables i need to declare what kind of variables i need to declare okay so here yeah here anyhow suppose what are the number i entered i should display the product of that number so how many variables are required here i require one variable for storing this iteration value means i need to start from one and continue till what 10 understood i need to start with one and continue till 10 and i require one more variable for storing the result understood when i do some calculation that calculated value has to be stored in a what variable so i require two more variables one variable for iterating means i need to start from one and continue till what 10 another variable for storing our calculation okay so i require two more variables so how do we declare the normal variables yes we already know we have to use the keyword called as what data keyword understood for reading the input we have to use parameters for declaring the normal variables we use what data keyword both are used for declaring the variables only but data keyword will not generate any selection screen whereas parameter statement will generate the selection screen so i'll say data let me use a chain operator why i'm using chain operator because i am declaring multiple variables by using what single keyword so data i'll give the, generally how do you start the normal variable v underscore you can give any name but generally you'll start with what v underscore or in some projects we may start with gv underscore to indicate that is a global variable what do you make global variable a variable which has to be used throughout the program okay which has to be used in different places in the program so let me give a variable name as something v underscore some name y type i comma let me declare another variable v underscore z or v underscore r a some name okay type what i so i declare two more variables of type what integer okay done so i declare two variables now what i have to do i have to start from one and continue till what 10 okay so how do we initialize this if you take our c c plus plus or java also how do we declare a variable and initialize initialize it suppose i want to declare a variable integer so how do you do it in c c plus java you will say something like this in x equal to one what is the meaning of this we are declaring integer variable as well as we are initializing we are initializing at the time of declaration itself similarly here also how do we declare a variable and initialize as part of this declaration only i have to use the addition i mean to say keyword called as what value keyword value what one so why i'm initializing it to one because i know that i need to start from one okay so so initial value should be what one that's the reason i'm setting it to what one if i don't set what happens by default already we know in abap integers by default contains what zero okay but i want to start from what one so i'll say what value one done next i need to start from one and continue till what 10 i need to execute the same calculation again and again okay so if you want to execute the statements repeatedly we'll go for what looping statements we'll keep those statements inside what looping statements i repeat when you want to execute certain statements again and again those statements you'll keep it as part of what looping statements looping statement means the statements enclosed inside the loop will keep on execution will keep on executed till the condition remains what true till the condition remains true so here i'll say yeah so i'll use a while loop now so i'll say while so if you take our c c plus java how do you write the while condition i believe you'll write something like this while you'll write some condition you'll open this floor brackets and you'll close it this is the way we write while loop in case of our c c plus plus or java here you have to say while while i need to start from what one what is the variable which is holding that value 
v underscore y so i'll say while v underscore y sorry while v underscore y okay less than or equal to okay this is the what operator for what less than or equal to equal to what 10 while y is less than or equal to 10 okay how do we close the while loop end while there in c c plus plus java we use floor brackets here we use what while and what end while none so i'm checking the condition here so what this while loop will do it will check the condition if the condition is true if the condition is satisfied it will enter the loop so inside the loop what i'll do i need to do some calculation what is the calculation i have to do i need to perform the product something like this okay that is the number which you have read i need to multiply with my iteration variable and store the result in some variable so what is the other variable i declared for storing the result v underscore res you can give any name i gave a meaningful name here done so i'll say v underscore res is equal to where you are reading the input inside the variable what p underscore x so i'll say v underscore res is equal to p underscore x into what v underscore y so i'm performing the product here okay v underscore res is equal to p underscore x into v underscore y done then what i need to i need to display the product now right i need to display the product so i'll say write okay write understood what is the purpose of write statement just like in c language we use printf for displaying the result in c plus plus we use c out in java we use system dot out dot print ln similarly in ABAP also to display anything on the console on the list processing screen we use a keyword we use a statement called what write statement and this slash indicates what new line right so write chain operator this column we call it as what chain operator okay right what is that i need to display the product in this format what is that the number you have accepted followed by into symbol and then the iteration variable followed by this assignment operator and again what the result so i'll say where you are reading the input in which variable p underscore x p underscore x how do we separate the variables and operators comma okay p underscore x comma i need to display this star symbol product symbol which is a character which is a character so how do you display the characters you'll enclose it in what single quotes single quotes comma what is the other variable the iteration variable in our case what is the variable which is holding that iteration v underscore what y so i'll say v underscore y done then comma we need to separate the variables and operators by using what comma then i need to display this uh, equal to symbol so again it's a character okay i need to put it in what what single quotes comma what is that we have to display the result in which variable the result is stored in our case v underscore res also v underscore res and here you have to give what period in c c plus java we use semicolon to indicate the end of the statement here in above we use what period which indicates what end of the statement done and every time i need to increment this variable with what one so again if you take our c c plus java you will say something like this v underscore y plus plus so let me check whether i'll get any issues here this is called as what increment operator which is valid in case of other programming like this i'm trying to use the same thing what does it indicate v underscore y is equal to v underscore y plus one so let's see what happens okay i am getting a red color here i'm getting a red color which indicates what it is having what some errors so let's see what is that error okay done okay so this is my uh, simple logic here okay these statements keeps on executed till the condition remains what true so let me execute here first i need to save it control s then let me check for the syntax error control f2 yeah i got some syntax error what is that statement v underscore y plus plus is not defined check your spelling so it is unable to recognize what is this v underscore y plus plus it is saying that it is not defined this is very much valid in case of what other programming language but here we don't have any operator like what increment operator or decrement operator okay so let me just okay i'll close the error here okay so i want to keep this statement as it is for your reference so how do you comment 
you have to use what star at the beginning of the line so that the entire line will be commented in C C++ we use slash slash which indicates what the line will be commented comment means what which will not be executed so here let me use what star so that the entire line will be commented and how do you give the comment from middle of the line we use what double quotes whatever you write after double quotes it indicates what comment only so for your reference I'll just maintain one comment here what is this syntax error so when you practice your uh, this program in your system you try to uncomment this and practice so that you will get the error message what is the error I got same error v underscore y plus plus is not defined check your spelling done I'll comment it so I'll say what star done so what is the change I have to do now v underscore y is equal to v underscore y plus 1 understood so manually I need to increment that so let me execute save it control s program is saved let me check for the syntax error control f2 control f2 done and then I need to activate this I need to activate this it is inactive so how do we activate control f3 done I'll execute this f8 done enter a number I'll give the number as something what 5 some number when I click on it this is called as what selection screen where the user will read the input user, user will enter the input okay so let me click on execute button on this application toolbar this is called as what application toolbar I'll click on execute button f8 yes I got the result in C C plus Java the result screen we call it as console here we call it as what LPS list processing screen write statement will display the result on what LPS list processing screen so I got the result here 5 ones are 5 up to what 5 tens are 50 okay so we'll come back to this later on let me go back All right so let us understand let us understand how this program is getting executed internally understood I want to check the flow of what program execution so last week uh, last class I just started with our debugging understood I have just gave a glimpse of what debugging the program to understand the flow of what program execution so in order to debug your program what you have to do we need to set the breakpoints we need to decide from where we need to debug the program okay so what I want anyhow these things I cannot debug because this comes under what variable declarations variable declarations cannot be debugged only executable statements can be debugged so where are the executable statements? it is starting from here so I'll put the cursor somewhere here anywhere on the line anywhere on the line and on the application toolbar you can see we have a button set or delete session breakpoint so let me click on set session breakpoint done what it is saying that session breakpoint was set breakpoint has been set done let me execute this right after setting the breakpoint I'll click on what execute button so what this what will happen now whenever the system encounters this breakpoint signal breakpoint is a signal to the system so whenever it encounters the breakpoint what happens the control will be taken to a debugging mode once a control enters a debugging mode the developer can debug the program step by step okay to understand the flow of the program execution so let me click on execute button so this parameter will be executed it will generate the selection screen I'll enter some input value 6 I'll click on execute button so whenever the system is trying to execute that while statement on the while statement only I give the breakpoint no? so it will stop there it takes a control to a debugging mode once a control enters to debugging mode we can start the debugging so I'll click on execute done yeah you can see the arrow pointer here it is entering into a debugging mode okay debugging mode so I'm interested to debug now what is this here it is about to execute this current line before that uh, how many variables I declared in my program three variables one is p underscore x then we have what we are sorry p underscore x then we have v underscore y and v underscore what res uh, one second uh, why others have not joined one second let me check whether I've sent the mail to them or not how many are absent the total 12 members are there one second let me check
लतिका वंशी जसन राम सुरेंद्रा नीलिमा ओके वन सेकेंड आई जस्ट चेक वेदर आई सेंड द मेल टू देम आर नॉट या सेंड टू एवरी वन ओके मेनी ऑफ देम आर एबसेंट टूडे फाइंड नो प्रॉब्लम okay done so what we are doing now we are trying to debug the program yeah so here you can see where is the control here it is about to execute the while statement before that what are the variables are declared p underscore x v underscore x p underscore x v underscore y and v underscore x v underscore res what is the advantage of debugging the program we can check the flow of our program execution we can understand where the variable values are getting changed okay so let me uh, what identify the variables here so i'll say p underscore x what is the value of p underscore x six here because on the input screen i entered the value is what six then i declare two more variables v underscore y and v underscore r yes when i double click on this v underscore y yes what is the default value of v underscore y one and v underscore r yes i have not initialized so by default it contains what zero okay so these are by three variables in the program these are the current values of this particular variables done so now the arrow pointer is about to execute the while statement so how do we execute one statement at a time already i told in the last class we have to press what f5 single step for executing single step you need to press what f5 either i can click on this button which is there on the application toolbar or i can just directly press the f5 key so i'll press f5 key what this uh, current statement is doing it is checking it is checking whether the y value is less than or equal to 10 what is the value of y current value of y 1 is 1 less than 10 yes condition is what satisfied condition is satisfied it will enter the loop am i clear it will enter the loop so i'll say f5 done so i'm pressing f5 here yeah it has entered the loop it has entered the loop fine okay so why it has entered the loop because the condition is what satisfied done next what you are trying to do here we are trying to do some calculation we are saying x into y what is the value of x 6 what is the value of y 1 so it will perform this product and store the result inside which variable v underscore what res the current value of v underscore is what zero done so i'll say f5 right so v underscore res is what six done then i'm using the right statement to display the value of these variables x y and what res so when i say f5 it would have displayed that result at the background how do you check the output generated so far on the application toolbar you can see we have a button what display list so when i click on this i can see the output generated so far so let me click on this yes what is the output generated so far 6 ones are 6 done let me go back then what you are doing here you are incrementing the y value with what 1 so let me press f5 yes y has become what 2 okay done what is this here it is what coming out of the not coming out it is ending this while loop so since it is a looping statement what is the logic of looping statement they keep on executing till the condition remains what true so when i say f5 again the control goes back to while statement to check the condition so i'll say f5 done condition control is going back to the while condition y less than 10 what is the value of y 2 2 less than 10 yes f5 like this like this it will be repeated for how many iterations 10 iterations and this will be repeated for what 10 iteration so how to come out how to directly go to the 10th iteration those thing will understand later on going forward so let's should as of now just focus on what f5 f5 will always execute what single step there are other keys also okay so i'll not discuss them at this stage because we are very new to abap i'll discuss them as and when required just ignore these buttons for the timing right i'll keep on saying f5 so you can see i am pressing f5 it is keep on executing my while loop okay so so far what is the output generated i got up to what 67 ja done let me go back right so now 
done 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 right so you can see the output so far up to i got 6 8 the 48 done i'll say f5 then y is incremented by what one y become is what nine nine less than ten yes condition satisfied done okay it might have displayed up to what six nine the 54 done i'll say f5 current value of y is what 10 is 10 is equal to 10 yes condition satisfied i'll say f5 done it will perform the product it has displayed okay i got up to what 6 10 the 60 done then you are saying y plus 1 so when i say f5 y has become how much 11 now again the control goes to the while loop i am checking the condition now y less than 10 what is the current value of y in the memory 11 is 11 less than 10 no condition is what false since the condition is false it will not enter the while loop it will not enter the while loop it comes out of the loop it will not enter the loop so i will say f5 done it is it is not entering the while loop okay so it is coming out of that how do we come out of the debugging now press f8 press f8 then i got the result so just we understood how the control is flowing in the program by pressing what f5 in the debugging mode how do you remove this breakpoint again put the cursor click on the same button set or delete session breakpoint okay so this is how we use what while loop but what is our requirement here i need to skip what fifth iteration i should get from one to four and i should get again from what six to ten but if you see the result i got all the values you enter any value here i got one to ten including what five i need to skip this iteration so we'll see how to skip it but before that, any questions, please ask me. I know these are very simple, boring, but we are very new to ABAP. We should know how to use these statements also. Okay. Any questions, please ask me. <coughs> Sayed, Manika, Shivani, any questions? Nilima. No question on my end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay. So if you don't have questions, fine. So what you what was your actual requirement? I need to skip what? Fifth iteration. I need to skip the fifth iteration. So I'll do one thing. Uh, let me keep this as it is. Okay. This loop, what it is doing? It is printing from what? 1 to 10. So let me keep it as it is what i'll do is i'll say u line already we know u line means underline you'll get the underline horizontal line okay i got the horizontal line here now again i have to start from what one and continue till what 10 okay i want to start from one and continue till what 10 uh, but i need to skip what fifth iteration so what is the current value of y after coming out of the loop 11 uh, since it has become 11 it is not entering the loop the condition is false so what i'll do is again i'll set back the y value to what one okay again i'm setting back to what one i'll repeat these statements once again so what i'll do here i'll just copy it yeah okay so since y value is one again i'll get from one to what ten once again so let me execute yeah, I'll do one thing. Let me default the value here. How do you default the value for the parameter variable? Default, I'll say what? 6. So the moment the selection screen is displayed, I'll get the default value. If you want, you can change it. But if you want any default values, you can do it. Then, so what I got here again, I got from 1 to 10. Again, I got from what? 1 to 10. But what is the focus now? I need to skip what? Fifth iteration. So what I'll do here, I need to check the condition. So inside my while loop, inside my second while loop, I'll say, I'll say here, just try to understand if, understood, already we know every programming language contains what? Conditional statements like C, C++ also contains what? Conditional statements. So here I'll say if V underscore Y, okay, if V underscore Y is not equal to 5, any indicates what? Not equal to Phi. If it is not equal to phi, understood? Then only go inside this if block, perform the product, display the result. 
okay and every time i am incrementing the y value with what one so first let me check the result first okay any indicates what here not equal to five so set the save it check activate done okay i enter the number six when i execute yeah first time i got one to ten next time i got what one to four then again i got from what six to ten okay let me quickly debug this okay so i'll put the breakpoint somewhere here i'm not interested to debug this it's not compulsory that every time i have to debug the whole program my program might contain 10000 lines of code okay i may be interested to debug only a part of the program so from wherever you want to start the debugging put the breakpoint there so i'll put the cursor here right i'll click on what session breakpoint done so when i execute right so if you see the results so far what I got I got the result from 1 to 10 this is for the first uh, while and while done now what is the current value of y you can see current value of y is what 11 so I'll say f5 how do we execute one statement at a time press f5 done I'm setting back the y to what 1 so 11 becomes what 1 done right 1 less than 10 yes y not equal to 5 what is the value of y 1 is 1 not equal to 5 yes if condition is also satisfied it will enter the if block okay i'm performing the product i'm displaying it done 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 again y is how much 2 2 less than 10 yes 2 not equal to 5 yes yes it is entering the if block fine up to this is fine 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 yeah i got up to what yeah 4 not equal to 5 yes 4 is not equal to 5 done i got the result you can see I got up to what one to four I got up to one to four now now what I am doing here y is how much y y is how much five five less than ten yes while loop is satisfied while condition is satisfied it will enter the while loop now y not equal to five what is the value of y five is five not equal to five no five is equal to five so my if condition is what failed if condition is false since my if condition is failed since my if condition is failed it will not enter the if block means it will not enter this if block directly it comes here so when i say f5 done control is coming to the next statement after what and so it is skipping the fifth iteration done so i am incrementing the y value with one six six less than ten again yes six not equal to five yes not equal to it will continue till what uh, up to ten so how do you okay what is the current output now up to I got 6 into 6. How do you come out of the debugging at any point of time? It's not compulsory that I have to debug everything. So at any point of time to come out of the debugging, debugging mode, press what? F8. Right? So I got the rest of the result. So I got the result from 1 to 4 and I got the result from what? 6 to 10. Right? So any questions here? Any questions, anyone? Okay. Done. Now, can anyone tell me, uh, do we have, uh, can we write any other way, any other logic is available to skip the fifth iteration? I want the same result once again. I want the same result once again. I want to skip the fifth iteration. So apart from using the logic which I wrote, any other thing is there. Forget about ABAP. Just thinking as a normal programmer. If you take our C, C++ Java, can you write the same way in a different way so that I can achieve the same thing? Anyone? Srikanth, anyone? <coughs> Do we have any other statement? Okay, I'll give a clue. Uh, do we have any other statement to skip a particular iteration in a loop? Do we have any other statement to skip a particular iteration in a loop? Hmm? Okay, so let me show you that just here. Okay.
again i'll say u line just to separate the output i am using these underlines so again i'll set back the y value to what one i understood y value is again one let me just copy the logic as it is done so what i'll do is uh, just like in c c plus also we have that uh, keyword continue continue statement so now i'll say if y is equal to five eq means what equal to if y is equal to five try to understand i will use continue statement i'll use a keyword called it continue and i'll say end if here one second let me close this so what is the change i have done here whenever the y value is five i'm using what continue statement okay so first of all let us understand the purpose of the continue statement what is the continue statement whenever a continuous statement is executed inside a loop what is the loop here while and while see this if is not called as a loop don't say if loop say if block loop means what where the set of statements are repeated again and again whereas conditional statement is what statement will be executed only once okay it will not repeat so what i am trying to use here i am trying to use a continuous statement inside my if block so what is the purpose of continuous statement whenever a continuous statement is used inside a loop whenever a continuous statement is used inside a loop the rest of the statements after continuous statement the rest of the statements after continue will not be executed will not be executed in the sense will be ignored and the control jumps to next condition check i repeat once again whenever continuous statement is executed inside a loop inside a loop the statements after continue will be bypassed in the sense will be ignored will not be executed and the control jumps to next condition check okay so here when what i am doing here when we have to execute the continuous statement whenever the y value becomes 5 i am using what continuous statement okay so what the what is the job of the continuous statement whenever this is executed the rest of the statements in the loop will be bypassed will be skipped will be ignored and the control jumps to next condition check so keeping my sentence in mind can anyone tell me what could be the result will i get that uh, 1 to 4 and uh, 6 to 10 output yes or what happens anyone <clears throat> will i get the same result what i got in the previous step or anything else will happen i repeat that point once again whenever continuous statement is executed inside a loop the statements after the continue will be bypassed will be skipped for that particular iteration and the control jumps to next condition check so what is the result now anyone shikant what are the results will i get from 1 to 4 and uh, 6 to 10 it will skip the fifth iteration huh? okay let's see what happens see here no so see here when i execute see what happens i'm giving six here when i execute it will not display me the results it has it is going for infinite execution it is going for what infinite indefinite loop it is going for what infinite loop indefinite execution why see here understood how do you stop it now it is going for what infinite execution. it will never stop so how do we stop it forcefully whenever you get this kind of situations when the program is not generating the output and if it is going for infinite execution to do the forceful uh, stopping of the program execution okay on the top left hand corner on the top left hand corner 
okay besides this program menu okay if you click on this we have what stop transaction let me click on that it will be stopped okay so what is the problem here is here just try to understand why it is going for infinite loopments here y is how much one one less than ten yes condition is satisfied okay up to four is fine i'll get the result at certain stage y value becomes what five at certain stage y value becomes five okay five less than ten yes five is less than ten condition is satisfied it will enter the while loop then i'm using if y is equal to five yes y is how much five is five equal to five yes if condition is satisfied it will enter the if block what happens now continue will be executed what is the job of continue statement it will skip the rest of the statements in the loop for that iteration means when or y is equal to five continue will be executed it will skip these statements and the control jumps to what again to the while condition in the memory what is the value of y again five only na five less than ten yes again if y is equal to five yes y is equal to five only okay again it will execute what continue again it will skip this statement again it will go there y remains how much five again five is equal to five yes so always y value remains what five so it keeps on executing what continue statement it keeps on uh, skipping this statement so always the value of the variable y in the memory remains what five that's why it will never execute the result if you want to debug see here i'll put the breakpoint okay so so far you can see the output this is my first this one this one second this one done okay one second okay so now see here if you go back what is the value of y now 11 so i'm making y as one done so up to what fourth iteration everything is fine it is not executing the if block it is not executing the continue statement why is how much now? Three is three equal to five? No, condition is false. It will not enter the if block. It is not without entering. It is going to the statements after if block. It is executing done. Right? Why is four now? Four less than ten? Yes. Four is equal to five? No. Yes, I got the result. So you can see the output here. Uh, y is incremented to what? One. Y becomes what? Five. See the output generated so far? Yes, you can see at the background. It has printed from what? One to four up to this is fine it is generating some output at the background now why is how much five okay f5 control is going there five less than ten yes five is less than ten done if y is equal to five yes y value is what five can if block is satisfied it will ex enter the if block it will execute continue what is the behavior of continuous statement it will skip the execution of the rest of the statements it will skip the execution of the rest of the statements it will skip that so if it skips what happens it will go to the next condition check so when i say f5 see the arrow pointer here when i say f5 control is going back to the while loop yes five less than 10 yes understood again five is equal to five again continue it keeps on executing see i am pressing f5 the same condition is keeping on it is going for what infinite execution the system doesn't know when it has to come out of the while loop so it is going for what infinite execution so let me say f8 okay i'll not get the result because it's going for what infinite execution so let me do forceful act uh, what exit on the top right hand corner left hand side sorry on the top left hand corner if i click on this i'll click on stop transaction done so am i clear so we should be very careful when you are using the continuous statement so what is the adjustment i have to do now if y is equal to five before executing the continuous statement i'll increment the y value with what one if y v underscore y equal to v underscore y plus one so whenever the y value is five if condition is satisfied it will enter the if block y is incremented to one so y becomes how much six in the memory y becomes six and when i say continue it will skip the statements for that iteration control goes here six less than ten yes six is equal to five or no again if condition will not be satisfied if condition will be executed only once whenever it is what five so before executing continue i'm ensuring that y is incremented by what one so see the result now yes you can see the result 
if you scroll down yeah 1 to 4 and 6 to 10 so here output is not important for us we are trying to understand the purpose of which keyword here continuous statement so what is the understanding whenever continuous statement is executed inside a loop the rest of the statements will be ignored for that the rest of the statements after continue will be ignored will not be executed for that iteration for that iteration and the control jumps to next condition check so here i'll give a comment for your purpose if not incremented what will go for what infinite loop means it will never come out of the loop so this is the way to give comment from the middle of the line so that by looking at this i can understand why i am incrementing here so like this in the real time also for most of the statements you need to maintain the comments so that in future if some other developer has to modify this code by looking at the comments he can understand the program logic okay if the comments are not maintained also your code will not be validated understood so in the real time when you're working in the big MNCs, you try to maintain comments for most of the lines to increase the readability okay so that in future if, it, if any changes are required just by looking at the comment we'll get some idea what to what changes we need to do so any questions related to continue please ask me <coughs> Okay, done. Right, so we understood about the purpose of what continuous statement. Now let me say U line. I'll say V underscore Y is equal to again 1. I'm setting back to what? 1. Now let me introduce to another statement. Here only I'll just copy it. Yeah, instead of using a continuous statement, I'll use a statement called as exit. Okay, I'll use a statement called as exit. Okay. So after end while, I'll just give a message. Some message I'm giving after end while. So what this exit statement will do? Exit statement, whenever it is executed inside a loop, the control comes out of the current loop. Means whenever the Y value becomes what? 5. I'm saying exit. So what it will do? Exit will come out of the current loop. What is the current looping statement here? While and while. Means I'll get the result only up to what? 1 to 4. So when I execute, you can see at the last, what I got? I got from 1 to 4 and I got the statement what? After and this is only to show you that it is not coming out of the program. It is coming out of the current loop. After coming out of the current loop, after while loop, do we have any further statements? Yes, it is there. So it is executing that. So I gave this statement just to show you that exit will not come out of the program in this case. Exit will come out of the current loop. What is the current loop here? While and while. Okay. Similarly, I'll say, uh, let me set back this y to what? 1. One second. Here I'll use what do loop. Okay, do loop. Okay, do. Okay, done. I'm incrementing y with one. Okay, and here I'll say what end do. And somewhere here I'll say if v underscore y is greater than what 10, I'll say what exit. And I'll say end. So I'm just trying to show you the syntax for what do and do. So again, I'm setting back the y value to 1. It will increment, it will enter the do loop. It will perform this. Whenever the y value is greater than 10, we are saying exit. Again, exit will come out of what? Current loop. What is the current loop here? Do and do. So here also, I'll just give a message after do and do. Something, some message. Right? So when I execute, okay, when I execute, yeah, you can see the result here. 
right i got what 1 to 1 to 10 so what is the difference between while end while and do and do same difference whatever we know in other programming languages in case of while loop first we'll check the condition if the condition is satisfied only it will enter the loop but whereas in case of do loop without checking any condition it will execute the loop it will enter the loop it will execute the statements at least once then i am checking the condition so when do we go for do and do is if you want to execute the statements at least once we'll go for what do and what and do okay whereas in case of while loop if the condition is satisfied only it will enter the loop but whereas in case of do and do without checking anything it will enter the loop execute the statements at least once checks a condition if the condition is true again it will iterate the loop otherwise it will come out of the loop by executing that exit statement that is the difference between what do and what and do okay so this is your first syntax for your do and do i can use the same do and do in another way also okay so let me set the y value to one i'll say do 10 times do 10 times let me copy the logic okay so here i need not use any exit condition done okay so again i'm setting the y value to what one okay do 10 times so we are telling sap how many times it has to execute understood so here it depends on the condition but whereas here fixed number of times understood when do we go for this syntax is when you are sure that a certain statement has to be executed for fixed number of times then we'll go for what this particular syntax here i don't know i don't know when this condition will be satisfied so at that time i'll go for what first syntax but whereas here if you are sure that a certain set of statements has to be executed for a fixed number of times only then we'll go for this particular syntax so for your understanding i'll just give a message here some message do and do second syntax okay so when i execute i'll get the same result one to what ten. okay so this is how we have to use while end while do and do different between while end while and what do and do different between exit and what continue statement any questions please ask me. done so we have another type of looping statement loop and loop but this i cannot cover at this stage okay when we go to something called as internal tables in that concept we'll be discussing what loop and what end loop so till that time just ignore it right so we understood how to work with the looping statements while end while do and do and we understood the other keywords like exit and what continue statement right so if you don't have any questions I'll wind up for today. <clears throat>